After being involved in three different explosions during his two tours in Iraq, Brian Somm was definitely not himself. But the doctors couldn't find anything physically wrong with him. I couldn't sleep. I was getting very, very depressed. Somm saw doctors with the Veterans Administration Health System. He says each time they handed him a prescription and told him to come back in three months. And it was just, here's your medication. We'll see you. I was at the point where I was thinking of killing myself. Brian Somm feels he had hit bottom. They've been under all the stress and patrols and IEDs. You know, we've got a responsibility to do something, to, to do something for these people. After undergoing a series of EEGs, the doctors told Brian Somm that he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder as well as a mild traumatic brain injury, most likely from the explosions. After undergoing a series of treatments, Somm is now off all medication and he says he's seeing lots of improvement. I feel, I feel a lot better. I'm friendlier and interactive. These guys are being hurt. No, nothing they did wrong. They're serving that country. They're great guys, and I know I can make them better. It's a whole new world for them. If you breathe 100% oxygen through a mask, which you can do, it just goes in and out. The body doesn't pick it up. And add pressure, when you breathe in and you breathe 100% oxygen, that extra pressure will force the oxygen to become dissolved in the liquid part of the blood, which normally will not take place. And that oxygen that's been dissolved in the liquid part of the blood, the body can use. The blast was so bad that it blew off their legs. What happened to their heads? TBI, or traumatic brain injury occurs when a sudden trauma such as a blow or a jolt causes damage to the brain. Before the hyperbaric treatment, my short-term memory wasn't the best. Their mood is really depressed. Took out my frustrations on uh, my family. I'm doing 100% better and uh, I would recommend this uh, program for any wounded veteran. There is a process and a treatment to help our soldiers and our Marines and our Navy. When they have PTSD, when they have uh, TBI, and it's called hyperbaric oxygen treatment. I believe that we should, for our people, explore every avenue that we can uh, to help them recover from what are really becoming some signature wounds of, of this war. That but I will tell you, I, uh, I have seen none out there that I'm more encouraged by than what I would call at this point the ad hoc results of hyperbaric treatment. We have sent forward those Marines suffering that we thought might be suicidal to get them into a treatment regimen because it can't hurt. It can only help. Uh, and so even in those cases, we're encouraged by some of the things that we're seeing. So we, we think that, that we're on to something here.